guys, uh, we're back on the set. This is John uh, with Model Works. You're Serena Yang. And we're here with our master artist, uh, Ronnie Burt. He's gonna actually apply the final base coat, final paint job, rather, on the F4U Corsair. So uh, we're gonna watch him uh, do his magic. Uh, for the actual process, the actual base coat that we're using now, we actually verify with the customer that this is exactly what they want because uh, like we, like we promise and deliver, uh, we build models from, from your photos, Yang. Mm -hmm. So before we even apply this uh, actual coat, we double check that, you know, this is a specific shade of blue that you want mm -hmm. before we actually do this. And we try to, and we try to, or we actually will uh, accommodate all the requests and needs of the customer when it comes to graphics, paint schemes, and decals as well. And this was actually, uh, it, uh, you know, the coating yes. process. Mm -hmm. uh, according to Kuya, it was coated like two times. Two times, okay. And then it was dried up for one day. One day, okay. Yes. Prior to this actual process right now? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So in this kind uh -huh. of process, you need to have, you need to wear your mask. Yes, personal protective equipment is mm -hmm. a must in this type of environment, uh, ladies and gentlemen, yes. boys and girls. Safety first, and Rutherford is you know, he is one of our. If you try to artists. take a look at the, the, the way Kuya brush, it really satisfies me. You know. Your visual, uh huh. He does, and just seeing it come to life, the actual model. And like we discussed before, like we talked about before when you first came here to mm -hmm. uh, Yang, that it, it has a, a look. A plastic. Yes. But Actually, yeah. it looks like plastic yeah, now. Yeah, it really does. It really does. If you if you can see this, it really looks like it's plastic, plastic. Exactly. and not wood. Who would imagine that that piece of piece made of, of it made, made out of wood? It made out of you know made from scratch, sure. made by hand as well. Mm -hmm. And the whole process in itself has this effect on the model, the coating process, the carbon process in which they'll they'll take their time and make sure that everything's smooth, all the contours is rounded in areas where it's needed and it's sanded just to the right texture. So when you do apply the coat, you get the smooth finish as if it was plastic. Kuya, is it a one-time spray only or you need to spray it again? That's a good question. After, you know. So I uh, apply a first coat in, in uh, minutes, uh, one ah. minutes, then I will apply a second coat. Okay, so how, how, many, how many times do you need to uh, spray it. If I'm done with vegan coating, if the area is uh, clear, I guess, clear, uh, yeah. and smooth. Oh, like what Sir Sir Lincoln says, right? Right. right. On the on the putty process. Yes. Well, once you see mm -hmm. the texture more smooth mm -hmm. or less grainy, then yes. you know you're just about there, yes. and uh, you know maybe a few more just for mm -hmm. assurance. If there is still a smudge or a yes. bit of you know. Not raw, uh, not smooth or raw. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the time you're going to coat right, it. I mean, spray right. it again. Yeah, and and uh, and of course, our our master artist here around the bird right here, he has a trained eye for this. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. So that he would know if he would need more, or if that's enough. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's. And I guess it's, uh -huh. he is doing actually the second coat. Yes, he did. He did. Yeah, I did. I I I caught that too. That he let it dry. For a little bit before applying yeah. the second coat right here. And then it will do. Yes. I guess so. And just, just seeing it come along, I mean, look mm -hmm. the texture of that. Uh, yeah, it's just... It's you, more smoother than... It really does look like it's plastic, guys. Mm -hmm. I wish you could see this. The actual process live. Mm -hmm. uh, it's... It's like acrylic guys plastic. Guys yeah, this guy is good. Yes. So, I, I, so after this process right here, then they'll go ahead and put the, the graphics in, in the, in the, for the details mm -hmm. of this F4U as far as uh, the tail number. Uh, stars and bars. The stars and bars, as they refer to it. It's the, the US Navy right here. Uh, Ta da! Hey guys, um, so thank you for staying tuned on this episode of the Artist Process with Rhonda Berger and Yang. Yeah. As you can see, he applied the final coat of the actual F4U model. Yeah. And 
as you can see, it's it's hard to imagine uh, that this is not plastic, but yet wood. It's wood. And uh, Mark did a very, very good job in making sure that the quality of the coat of the paint was distributed evenly, and the coat is just enough to where, I mean, you, you it doesn't get any better this mm -hmm. and right before the final stages of production. So uh, with that oh, said, yeah, did great. yes, he did. Hey guys, it's John here with Model Weeks and Rec with Yang. And we are here with Marjun and we are in the painting process, mm -hmm. uh, Yang. Uh, so we're pretty much at the end stage of this model's life right here. So what Marjun is doing is actually painting the, basically this is a, this is a excuse me, this is a solid canopy model. Yep. So he's gonna paint the windows to look like windows, but you mm -hmm. cannot see inside the details of the actual cockpit. And as you can see in the airplane here, uh, Yang, it has the bars and stars as obviously uh, an airplane uh, from the U.S. military, U.S. Navy to be exact. And what he does too, when he incorporated bars and stars on some parts of the plane, he actually used these stencils right here. Here. This one, right? Yes. So he's, he's using that. He would actually apply that onto the model and he will airbrush the actual details of that into the airplane. And he just painted the windows, the windows. Uh, yes, of the F4U Corsair. Mm -hmm. And Mar Marjun's been doing this for quite some time too, right here. So, Kuya, how many coats do you need to put the two. in that one? Two coats. So that's so that's two coats on the in the windows on the carpet windows. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's final already, right? Yeah. Ah, very nice. Very nice. nice. So I noticed on this side right here, Marjun, you see uh, Yang? Uh, it's missing, part? it's on this side right here. Uh, can you show that to the camera? Oh, yes. Yeah. So it's missing, it's missing the bars and stripes on, bars and stars, excuse me, on this side right here. So he's going to do that right now for you guys. That's a special treat um, from Model Voice Direct, courtesy of Marjun. Okay. So you ready for this, uh, Yang? Yep. Do your thing, uh, Marjun. And that's the logo, basically, right? Yeah, it's the star. It's a it's the bars and stars of the U.S. Navy. And the thing about it too, um, if you notice, Yang, that there was really no guidelines that he followed. He just mm -hmm. he, they just have an eye for this. It's amazing mm -hmm. that these they could just eye it, and it's perfect down to the T. So he's applying the stencil right now. And I'm pretty sure this tape is to protect the other parts of the plane from. Mm -hmm. So it won't. Right, so it's in, no, so it doesn't get painted with the airbrush. Oh, yes. Yeah. This is color white. He 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 changed it into color white, right? Yes. Even the airplane has a personal protective equipment right now from the from the white. So not that not that the stencil is in place. Now that the other areas surrounding the stencil, Yang is protected as well. Mm -hmm. He is going to go ahead and... And you notice, uh, Puyo was trying to press everything mm -hmm. on the side so that there will be no, you know... No leakage. Leakage, right. yes. And no smudge of the paint. Only no. those area with the stencils. Yes. So Marju, will this be two two coats as well on this? Yeah. Okay. Two coats. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't really take that long for it to dry to apply the second coat, right? Less than a minute, actually. I know. That's pretty, that's pretty fast. Look, I believe the closer the airbrush is to the actual object that you're painting, you get more of a final line. But you, I believe you might have some drippage. Yes. Yeah. The further away, it's more of a mist. By mist, Correct. you get yes. a more. You can cover more areas from that. Now he's actually applying the number five. So fine. Yes, it is. And once again, he didn't have no guidelines. Mm -hmm. He just has an eye for this. So that's what makes uh, our master artists, our master, master painters, carvers, they just have an eye for it to where it's. Have you tried doing airbrush? I have not. I would have I tried. To, uh, that's the reason why you, I mentioned earlier that you need to have a distance with the object right. and maybe you spray paint. Because when I did it, it gives me a, a bad result. Right. So now he's actually removing the stencil here. Carefully. Wow. Yeah, so now he's gonna actually put the incorporate the red into the uh, into the into the bars. Yeah, this one. Yes. So he's just prepping. He's pre prepping the ink whenever he's ready. Mm -hmm. okay, just testing that a little bit. So he's gonna apply the stencil to right where he just had it. 
And for those who are concerned, uh, keep in mind that the paint actually dries pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So I know he just painted that the bars and stars on there and put another stencil on top of it. But it's, it's actually gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. There's gonna be no issues at all. Yeah. yeah even him leveling it out. Yes. With that fresh, the fresh paint job on the, on the bars and stars, it's, it's actually gonna be okay. Once again, he's uh, just protecting the other parts of the airplane from getting painted on with a red. Us. Yes. Okay. Okay. okay looks like Marjorie is ready to go. It's so satisfying. Sure is. Now he's going to remove the Nazi tape and the stencil very carefully, right, Yang? Yep. Very carefully, Marjun, right? Mm. There you go. Look at that, guys. Wow, so nice. See? This one to this one. Yes. Nice. Models made from your photos, uh, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you for sharing that um, this process with us, Marjun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for uh, me and Yang, mm -hmm. we were curious as to how uh, you guys were actually applying that type of graphics onto the uh, airplane. Mm -hmm. And you did a very good job demonstrating how it's actually done, Marjun. Very good, very Kuya. Good job. Good job. Yeah. So with that said, uh, this is John and, and Yang with uh, my voice and Rec. Thank you for staying tuned for another episode of the process of actually fabricating a custom with an airplane model. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. Uh, like, yes, comment, subscribe, subscribe share. share, and click the bell below. Yes, hit that button, hit that button. Until then, uh, this is John and Yay. signing out. If you can think it, we can build it. Modern, Modern Works, Works Direct. direct.